answering a few math questions. My name is Neha Malhotra. I am a graduate from the University of Waterloo. I went there to study mechanical engineering. I graduated in 2018. Uh, since then, I've been working, but uh, as of January 2021, I'll be starting my master's degree at University of Toronto. Looking forward to helping you guys with all your questions. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe if you have any more questions. You can also feel free to drop them in the link in the description below. Thank you. All right, let's get started. So we'll be covering a series of math questions that range from anywhere from, uh, you know, middle school, high school to university level questions. Um, so we'll be covering them one by one. I'll be providing detailed answers and going through the solution in the text form as well. So question one, what is 1.75 as a mixed number? So a mixed number is essentially a mixed fraction is what they're telling, asking for. So just a quick reminder of what a mixed fraction looks like. So mixed fraction would be something like one, one and a half. That's a mixed fraction. And the way you represent it as a fraction is if you multiply two and one, and then you add the number on top. So this becomes three over two in fraction form. So if we're looking at the number 1.75, the way to convert it into a mixed fraction is first get rid of the decimal place. So the way you get rid of the decimal place is essentially if there's a decimal place in any number, it's being divided by a multiple of 10. So in this case, uh, it's being divided by 100 because there are two ones in the decimal place. Or sorry, so there's a numbers at uh, ones and a tens position. So it's being divided by 100. So if I get rid of this decimal place, what will I get? I'll get 175 divided by 100. The other way of looking at it is if I just take 1.75 and if I multiply it by 100 over 100, I'll get 175 over 100. So now that we have this in a fraction form, we have to get it to a, a mixed fraction form. Uh, the way we do that is by dividing as much as possible, dividing through as much as possible. So if we look at this number, uh, 175 divided by 100, we can start dividing it by the common factor. So I know five is a factor of 100. So I will say this is 20, once I divide by five, and this is 35. So after one division, this fraction becomes 35 over 20. If I divide this again by 5, I will actually get 7 and then 4. As we see, there are no longer any common factors which we can use to divide it any further. So what we would do is, at this stage, we can start converting it to a mixed fraction. So to convert it to a mixed fraction, we would divide 7 by 4, the remainder would remain on the top, and then the multiple would come on the left side. So when I divide 7 by 4, so 4 ones are 4, and the remainder is 3. So what would I get? I would get 4, the remainder which is 3, and then the multiple is 1. So this is the mixed fraction for the number 1.75. I hope the answer was clear. Let's just go through the solution quickly. So the way they have done it is by adding, splitting them in one and 0.75, which is also correct. Uh, and you get the same answer in the end. Perfect. So the solution is correct. All right, 